everybody, welcome to my weird and wonderful world, and I am back home. Consider this to my part three of my three-parter today, because my first two parts is me out on the out and about, out in the boot, and, you know, going to do some errands, and because it's such a beautiful day, I decided, yeah, I'm going to record myself. And like I say, weather like this are better. Whenever I'm, I have to be outside. Whenever possible, if I can record myself, yeah, I'm doing that. Absolutely. So, as you should know by now, I'm not hiding it this time. I went to I went to Sunrise Records. Yeah, I know. I keep I, I keep feeling bad for cheating on uh, Frank's music like that, but one has to do what one has to do lately in this economy. But anyway, so when I end up getting there, okay. This is my old copy uh, of uh, King Gizzard, right? This is my new copy. First of all, you can see one one major difference. The the uh, the uh, relief here is it, it's all shiny, and which this is just a straight yellow. That has a yeah, that has a reflective uh, golden shiny relief. And because I know because it has two CDs in it there, the, the old one only opens up once like this, right? This has an extra, an extra fold in it. So, to, of course, to house these, the second disc. So, as I mentioned outside, this one here, okay, is going to be gifted to my, 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 my great friend. And I mean, look at the condition. It's still in immaculate mint condition. So he's gonna get it. Yeah, he's gonna get that as soon as I get to talk to him. We're gonna. I mean, he's gonna be driving me up to uh, Rishabukto to get to to uh, to check out the uh, solar eclipse. So I'm looking for that. That's a week away. One week, seven days away. The solar eclipse. Again, again, I checked the weather the weather forecast for that day on the eighth. And now, now the, the rain that that was showed that showed up kind of disappeared, and now it's just showing mostly cloudy, or mostly mo, uh, mostly cloudy. Oh, okay, it can still clear up. We'll see how it goes. Like it, we're not there yet. I want to keep, yeah, I'm gonna keep tabs on that. So well, I'll be opening this up in a second here. But also, as you've seen, this was the first thing I picked out. Because, yeah, it's to complete a certain era. So there's uh, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard with the Mile High Club. And it's called uh, Sketches of Brunswick East. Not New Brunswick East, you know, where I live. <laughs> no, it's Brunswick East. So I know that this is more of a is more jazzy it's in collaboration with with that other band i know going into it what what to expect i'm not expecting this to be a ranked high on my on my list it's probably going to be in my uh my top uh my basically my low 5 <laughs> not my top 5 my low 5 uh but i don't care I th I'm still going to love it. I'm sure I'm still going to give this at least an 8 out of 10. At least an 8 out of 10. We'll see how I feel after I play it. But yeah, we're... <clears throat> we'll go. Okay. We're going to go open it up. Uh, and I am lucky there is no security stickers on here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to fiddle with that. Get my, uh, my trusty X-Acto knife. I don't know why I don't always have it ready. Open that up. I call it an exacto, but it's a box cutter. Let's face it, you know. I do. I used to have a nice exacto knife set before. So my box cutter. I'm gonna open up my Nanagon Infinity. Opens the door. Nanagon Infinity opens the door, and I want to keep making sure when I do open packages like this that I do it in front of you. Again, I know my my uh, my whole uh, my whole sticker game is it, it's off. 
But again, I never grew up doing that. Uh, I like I find that fascinating. That that certain that certain um, you know certain YouTubers I watch they've gotten into the habit of putting on on stickers. All right, so I haven't opened it yet. Okay, comparison. They're about the same size, so that's good. And not much difference with the picture except like the the, the artwork itself. I mean, the, the only difference in the front cover is the. Uh, yeah, is is the logo? There's the the back. I, I don't need to show you the back cover because it's identical. So to recap of what this looks like. When you open it up. That's what that looks like. Those are the band members. And I want to apologize for one thing for sure. Okay, I kept I kept on calling Ambrose Aubrey. It's M. Ambrose Kenny Smith. That's his name. For some reason, I keep getting in my head his name is Aubrey. It's not Aubrey. It's Ambrose. So I want to make that clarification right right now that I do apologize to Ambrose for mucking up his name. I don't know why when I look at you, I think of Aubrey. I think of the name Aubrey. So so I apologize for that. It's Ambrose Kenny Smith. He he's the harmonica playing guy. I don't think he plays a guitar. I think he might every once in a while, but I hardly I don't think I remember see, seeing him with one. So okay, let's get op let's open this and see what's inside. All right, my first time opening it. Oh, there we go. There's the band members. I love that. And it's on the opposite side. Usually, yeah, it's on the opposite side. So, oh. Oh, okay. That's pretty awesome. Okay, where's what? Right on this side here. Here's the first disc. Yeah. So the first disc on is on this side. The second disc is on that side. Yeah. Uh, might as well pull them out. It's way in there, so I want to be careful not to rip the uh, 